Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Lydia's Book Tester Podcast. My name is Lydia and I love to read and with my dad we put this podcast together so I could tell other boys and girls about the books that I read and what I think of them. We look at all types of books, short stories, comics, fat books, book series and one-offs, but what's connecting them all is that I will have read them and I will be letting you know what I think. In this episode, we will take a look at poetry and I will review some of my favourite poems and rhymes. Hi Liddy, how's it going? Good. This is a really interesting podcast, episode 10. It's been a while since we did the last podcast. Yeah. yeah. Like You're back in school, aren't you? Yeah, almost about three weeks. Three weeks, wow. And how's school going? Glad to be back? Yeah. Good stuff. Anyway, so uh, we're going to look at a really interesting topic today. I think you came up with this. Yeah. And it's a brilliant idea. We are going to look at poetry in books. Poetry. It's Ex- almost as good at as uh, the one we did last time. Yeah, we did the movies, didn't we? Yeah, last yeah, time that's we did brilliant. Movies. Okay, so we're going to look at three books today. Uh, the first one we'll look at, which is kind of famous. When, when we were yo- very young, and now we are six, by A. A. Milley. And what books does he do? Fam- what's he famous for? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Okay, I love those. Yeah, they are. As well. Yeah, they're brilliant. So then the next one we're going to de- do is A Sailor Went to Sea. C. C. Favorite rhymes from Irish Childhood by Sarah Webb and Steve McCarty. And then what's the last one we're going to do, Lydia? The last one is I'm the Seed That Grew the Tree, a nature poem for every day of the year. Mm-hmm. And that so, is all right. really so talking. Okay, so there's a poem in the book for every day of the year. Yeah, there's like uh, 100 and something something in it. Oh. Yeah, so just say you open it to the very first. There's like contents. It shows what poems for everything. Number one, Jan. It's like, just say January. Mm-hmm. For the first poem is like... Um, I'm I'm on the 18th one, White Fields. Right. It says 18th White Fields. That's oh. what it does, and then it just goes into it. And, and then the next day, you can open it and walk in it and read another one. Okay, so that was done by Fiona Walters, and then there's lovely illustrations by Fran Preston Gannon. Yep. Okay. There's cool. even one for my birthday. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we're going to do look at that today, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, brilliant. So let's start off with the uh, when we were young, and now we are six. So we've picked... I mean, what I like about this book, this was a we've the one that we have, the edition that we have, I think is a fairly recent one. It was done in, uh, let me see when the edition was done. No, it's a 2002, but it's really nice. The illustrations, I'm wondering who does the illustrations. I think, are they, they're really kind of... I think uh, Axel, uh, the guy... No, not him. No, no they no, look a bit sorry, older uh, than that. Yeah, yeah they look, they look uh, kind of really old. I got mixed up. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the guy that did it in the... And um, Winnie the Pooh books. I yeah, think he I think did they're that. they're the same. Yeah, they're really, really good, though. I like them. They're nice and simple, anyway. Uh, there's lots of um, rhymes and poems. We're opening up the pages here, so you can probably hear the pages shuffling. But we're opening up the book here. I'm having a look, and there's loads of them. But we decided to pick two today, I think. I'm reading it at the moment. You're, you're reading this one at the yep. moment. Okay, cool. And, um, I mean, what what's it, what's it like to say... Uh, to read poems rather than reading stories? Um, sometimes it, I get mixed up. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes there's life and wife. Sometimes there's ones that you spell the same, but they don't actually, um, they're not uh, really the same in like the... The rhyme, the way yeah. they rhyme. Yeah, I get you. It's but kind of hard then. I have to make it up so it rhymes. Make it up so it, that it kind of rhymes. How many, like if you were reading this book here, would you, how many poems would you read like in one session? Um, About three or four. Right. Whereas if there's uh, one long one, I'd read five. And do you enjoy reading poetry? Is it mm-hmm. nice? How does it really? make you feel? Cause I po- love it. Yeah, poetry is supposed to bring out emotions in you. Sometimes it makes you feel sad. Sometimes it makes you feel happy. Does that does that do that for you when you're reading it? Yeah. Sometimes I felt like I was in outer space. Okay, well, that's if it's an outer space poem, I suppose. So, look, we're going to have a look at these ones, right? That's um, the thing. There wasn't any outer space poem. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, then that really brings up emotions for you. Right, so we're going to we're gonna read this one, aren't we, today? At uh, the zoo. At the zoo. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll share it i'll read the f- i'll read the first part and yep. then you read the, the second, second and then you read the third okay i'll read this the third one then so i'll start off so this is at the zoo by a a moon from the book when we were young and now we are six there are lions and roaring tigers and enormous camels and things there are buffalo buffalo bisons and a great big bear with wings there's a sort of tiny potamus and a tiny noceros too but I gave buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. There are 
are badgers and bidgers and boogers and a superintendent's house. There are masses of goats and a polar and a different kinds of mouse. And I think there's sort of something which is called a wallaboo. But I have I gave the buns to the elephant when I went down to the zoo. If you try to talk to the bison, he never quite understands. You can shake his hands with a mingo. He doesn't like shaking hands. And lions and roaring tigers hate saying how do you do. But I gave my buns to the elephant when I go down to the zoo. What did you think of that one? I really like it. Well, what, was, what was really nice about it? Is it just that it's simple? It's and kind of funny how he says Biflo, Buffalo, Buffalo. And stuff yeah, they like kind of, like I read those books with you and there's lots of stuff like that, like a woozle or something is in the books as a well. A woozle, it's actually a woozle. A woozle, yeah, a woozle. And then there's heffalumps. Do you think you really like the heffalumps, don't you? They're, they're, in, they're in the books as well, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Heffalump, so it's actually elephant, but he was, when uh, Christopher Robin said it, he was like, had a mouthful and it came out like, oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So I think what we'll do is we'll look at the next uh, poem, which again is from the A.A. Milne book. And this is called Down by the Pond. And I think you wanted me to read this one. Yeah. Uh, will I read it all or do you want to read the first part? I'll read the first part. You read the second and stuff like that. Okay. Right. Cool. I'm fishing. Don't talk anybody. C- don't come near. Can't you see that the fish might hear? He thinks I'm playing with a piece of string, and he, th- he thinks I'm another sort of funny, a funny sort of thing. But he doesn't know I'm fishing. He doesn't know I'm fishing. That's what I'm doing, fishing. No, I'm not. I'm newting. Don't cough, anybody. Don't come by. Any small noise makes a newt feel shy. He thinks it's somebody, but doesn't think it's me. And he doesn't know I'm newting. No, he doesn't know I'm newting. That's what I'm doing. Newting. <laughs> what is a newt anyway? I think uh, it's like a... It's kind of a lizard, a giant lizard. You get them in America. They're like as long as an adult's hand. Yeah, exactly. I think they are. They're right. creepy. So basically, would you recommend this book for parents to read to kids? Yeah. Right. Is it nice bedtime stories? Yeah. It's kind of bedtime poems? I think it's kind of a change from reading kind of short stories because short, you know, these kind of books like that, you know, Julia Donaldson, and we've reviewed them and all, and Once they're, they're really, really nice, but these are nice kind of alternative, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Once when I was um, lying down in bed reading these, I was like my hands up in the air with holding the book, and then suddenly I just fell asleep and the book f- fell onto my <laughs> a- a head, and, I, and then I woke up when the, with the book lying on my head. <laughs> okay, so the book stories put you to sleep. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> right, so look, I think what we'll do is we will um, take a little short break, and then we will be right back with the second part of episode 10 and we'll be looking at the next book. I'm the book. seed that grew the tree and the sailor went to see sea sea. Yeah, exactly. Okay, everybody, welcome back to part two of episode 10 of Lydia's Booktastic podcast. In this podcast, we are looking at poetry and rhymes. And we are going to talk about the next book. What's the name of the next book, Lydia? A Sailor Went to Sea Sea Sea. Favourite Rhymes from Irish Childhood by Sarah Webb and Steve McCarthy. So what we've done is this book is kind of like a written in a sense that what, you know, parents would have read to their kids at night before they went to sleep. So this is yeah. kind of kind of developed in that you're reading these ones yourself. So do you read these ones at night as well, Lydia? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you've picked out a brilliant one. And what we've done is we've picked out a um, concept which is very Irish for people who don't live in Ireland. It's called a limerick. And uh, a limerick is kind of, you know, it's five verses and they rhyme as follows, I think. The first and second and fifth and then the third and fourth go together. Yeah. So we're going to read, I think I, I will read the, the limerick and then you can read the next one out of this book, okay? So the limerick, it's just a basic limerick. So this is the way it goes. There once was a small girl called Maggie whose dog was enormous and shaggy. The front end of him looked vicious and grim, but the tail end was friendly and waggy. Do you like limericks? Yeah. Well, they're kind of short and punchy, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think they're really cool as well. I like them. And I remember as years and years ago, there was kind of like funny ones and they'd have them really as funny as they can get, you know? So they're really cool. I like limericks as well. Now we have a really nice one. And I think, Lydia, you've been really looking forward to reading this because this is, 
This is kind of your favorite yes. one, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah, we get this one. And what's the name of it? Wiggly Woo. Wiggly Woo. Okay, take it away, Liddy. There's a worm at the bottom of my garden, and his name is Wiggly Woo. There's a worm at the bottom of my garden, and all that he can do is wiggle all day and wiggle all night. The neighbours all say what a terrible sight. There's a worm at the bottom of a garden, and his name is Wiggly Wig Wig Wiggly Wig Wig Wiggly Woo. That was a bit of a mouthful at the end, yeah. wasn't it, Michael? Well done. That was brilliant. Well done. So what did you think of this book? I mean, there's illustrations in it that are really, really nice, aren't they? They're kind of cool. Yeah, I know. You're pretty, yeah. like, you, you know, you've got pictures like where there's people standing on cats and the cats are going, bah! you know, it's like it's really, really funny. <laughs> and then there's like, uh, there's loads of ones. Oh, there's even ones like for scary kind of ones with vampires and stuff like that. Oh, I love that one. It's called Beans. Okay, maybe you can read it for the listeners. Beans, beans, the musical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So beans, beans for every meal. And you know what toot is, don't you? Yeah. What is toot? Fart. <laughs> Fart. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so that's just only in Ireland, huh? Uh, so let's have a look at this one. This is a good one by William Arlingham. Four ducks on a pond, a grass bank beyond, a blue sky of spring, white clouds on a wing, what a little thing to remember for years, to remember the tears. That's kind of, that was kind of cool, wasn't it? It kind of changed halfway through. You expected it to rhyme and then it kind of changed a little bit. So sometimes poetry doesn't really have to rhyme that much. Sure, it doesn't. Mm-mm, not really. It just has a, lot, a nice wing to it, you know? It's, that's what you really want. I mean, you want it to feel good when you read it. It and said f- wing in it. And yeah. And you just said wing. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it did. Okay, so we think we'll take one more from uh, this book here. So you're happy? You want to do this one, is it? Yeah. 30 days, half September. April, June and November. February, February is 28 alone. All the rest have 31, except for in a leap year. That's the time when... When February's ta- days are twenty nine. Well, that's really good to remember then. Yeah, that helps you with the uh, with remembering your um what what way the months go. Okay, so the next book we're going to read is I am the seed that grew the tree, a nature poem for every day of the year. And those these story these poems were selected by who, Lydia? Fiona Watt. All right, very good. And then the illustrations were done by Fran Preston Gannon. So we picked out two here. Uh, let's have a look now and see where One we are. One is my birthday. That's right. My so we, Because do you want to explain to the listeners what's the idea of this book again? So it's one, it's one poem for every day of the year, isn't it? Yeah, and in it they're like, just say the 5th of October. Then there's one, you look, pretend it's the 5th of October, okay? So you look for the one where it says the 5th of October. And then you can just read it, and then the, then when it's the sixth of October, you watch, you read the sixth, and then the fifth, and then and then and then the seventh, and then the eighth, and so on. Okay, cool. So what we did was we picked one for September, didn't we? Yeah. Um. <clears throat> so this one is for a sec- second of September, and I think you'll ask me to read this one. This is one is by Russell Hoban. So it's called Summer Goals. So it's kind of apt, isn't it? Now that you're back in school yeah. and everything. Okay. So summer goals. Summer goals. Like the sand between my toes, when the waves go out, that's how summer pulls away, leaves me standing here today, waiting for the school bus. Summer bought, summer brought, all the frogs that I have caught, frogging at the pond, hot dogs, flowers, shells and rocks, postcards, in my postcard box, places far away. Summer took, summer took, all the lessons in my book, blew them far away. I forgot the things that I knew, arithmetic and spelling too, never thought about them. Summer's gone, summer's gone, fall and winter coming on. Frosty in the morning, here's the school bus right on time. I'm not really sad that I'm going back to school. You weren't really sad when you went back to school either, you were kind of happy. No, Because some people are like, oh no, no more, not school, and so on. And some others are like, yay, school! But it's been so long, hasn't it? I mean, mm-hmm. five months when, when yeah. we, you had to leave school in March because of the coronavirus and then... Boring. I know, it's boring, but you're unfortunately we have to do it. And then now it's now it's back in school. And is it difficult being back in school? I mean, do you have to sit in certain thing, ways? or? Yeah, we sit in pods on pod two. Okay. And guess what our pod's name is? What's that? Ireland. Ireland, okay. Yay. And so the other pods the other pods are named after China, different countries. Mexico and Ar- 
Australia and Ireland. Ah, oh, very good. So, and then you have to go in a different door and everything, don't you? Yeah. All right, but it's okay. I mean, you're looking at, you're fine. Do you find it um, comfortable? Is it okay? Yeah. It's good to be back in school though, isn't mm-hmm. it? So, yeah. okay, what we're going to do is we are going to look at the poem now. The last poem that we're going to read is my the birthday. one for your my birth- birthday. Yeah, my birthday. Yeah, for your birthday. So this one is called... If, if I, I can only take home a snowflake. Exactly. And it's the 17th of December, which is your birthday. So um, we'll read this one out now. So you just take it away when you're ready. Snowflakes like tiny ick, insects drifting town, down. Without a hum they come, without a hum they go. Snowflakes are tiny ick, insects, little insects drifting down. If I, only I could take one home with me to show my friends in the sun just for fun, just for fun. That was really nice. And that was by John Agard. And if you look at the illustrations, we've gone to December. So each picture kind of has a snowy. It's a bunny. It's a bunny. It's a bunny in snow, isn't it? Yeah. And it has kind of wintry pictures. So this is really nice about this book, actually, in that each page as you go on the kind of weather progresses so if you look at say yeah. you look at say november it's kind of like uh, slightly gloomy and then it's still showing and then actually when you look at october you've got all the leaves turning brown on the pages so look let's wrap this up final decision on all of these books would you recommend all these books for reading yes and what's important is you can get these books in the library can't you yes um the, a sailor went to CCC and I'm the sea that grew the tree. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, they are from the library. They're from the library. And then the last one, which was uh, When We Were Young by A.A. Mill, that is that uh, is ours. That's yours. But you, you can, I'm sure you could probably get that in the library. So let's give these books marks out of 10. We're not kind of reviewing them today, but I want you to give me a little quick review. So what did you think of the, the, the poems that were in The Sailor Went to CCC? I really liked them. So you give what, eight, nine... Ten. Ten. Wow. Okay. Just Especially be- for Wiggly Woo. Especially Wiggly, wiggly Woo. And then woo, I am the seed that grew the tree. Was that a, was that a ten out of ten as well? Yeah. Really, really good. Yeah. yeah. And then finally, what did you think of the AA Milne book? Is that one a little bit kind of was that good as well? Ten out of ten. Really? Okay. Boom. And the last one I want to ask you: What is the la- What is the best book out of all the three to read to say young children, mm. like three or four year olds? Which one would you pick? Maybe the sailor went to CCC. Right. Yeah. Like um, they're like these ones, like uh, the she'll be coming down the mountain. Ah, so there's a couple of songs in them yeah. as well. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think so. I think that would be brilliant for kids, so you can sing it to them as well. And of course, th- some of them are short and some of them are long, aren't they? Mm-hmm. So if you you know for little brains and little little kids, they might not have the attention span that say a six or seven year old is. So they probably want to hear a quick short one and then I need to go to sleep. So that's that's probably good. So we'd recommend. The Sailor Went to CCC. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 by Sarah Webb and Steve McCarthy. Okay, guys, that's the end of our podcast. Did you enjoy that, Lydia? Yes. Was it a nice change from reading books? Yes. Okay, so we'll have to come up with a new one then for episode 11. We're really hoping that we can get to uh, our friends in uh, Woodbine Books because they're so brilliant, aren't they? Woodbine Books, they help us all the time. And we had hoped before the lockdown that we were going to um, get out there and do a maybe a podcast from the shop. So... Before this, they um, gave us two books. Yeah. We didn't review them, yo. There's... St- though they're still there yeah we've got so many books I mean they've given yeah. us so many books to review and thank all you lined up on the shelf and thank you to all our authors as well who are sending us the books we will promise that we will get through them all and we will read them all it's just Lydia's seven so she needs a bit of time to read all these books as well as watching all her favourite uh, movies and stuff like that because um, it's your next film what's the next film you want to watch you want to watch the Sound of Music is it yeah okay so we're going to have the line Lenny McPhee come yeah. returns and stuff like that. yeah and then you watch star wars as well for the first time as well last so. night yeah so that's pretty really good so you, that was a big change and then we got yeah a few, popcorn yeah and we got and a few crisps. and we got a few marvel films that we have to watch as well too. yeah like, and were you sad were you sad about the the uh, the man who played the uh, black panther he he passed away yeah that was sad wasn't it yeah, yeah. um in did the, you did you like him in in uh, the avengers films yeah he was really cool wasn't he yeah and um the only Marvel movies I have left to watch is Black Panther, Iron Man 3, um, and 
Do- Hulk, I think. Hulk uh, and Black Do- Widow and Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. So we'll go through them anyway. Maybe we'll do a Marvel book soon. I think that would be good. We haven't done one in a while. Yeah. Okay. I have this Marvel comics and yeah. stuff. I think we did a quick review of the comics last time. Yeah, and there's more, a book where there's lots of fact files about them. Mm-hmm. Cool, guys. Listen, thanks very much for listening to us. Don't forget to uh, go back to our um, our previous podcast. We're on YouTube as well. You can look us up on Lydia's Booktastic Podcast. And, of course, don't forget to check out our good friends at woodbinebooks.ireland. They, um, they are a really, really great bookshop. They help us to supply all these books. And also, they're a brilliant bookshop online. They're on woodbinebooks.ie and you can check them out there and if you need a book delivered um, they can organise that to you anywhere in the world so woodbinebooks.ie and the lovely little town of Kilcullen thanks again guys we'll be uh, back to you real soon so uh, take care of yourselves bye bye bye